What's up guys, it's Godfrey here and welcome back to another unboxing and today I've got one of these, which is um, one of these, which is an Elgato Ivia, Ivia, or let's call it EV for now, and basically this is like Philips Hue, only cheaper, it was only 20 quid, and Philips Hue costs, hang on, Philips Hue, the one label costs 50 quid, which is 50 British pounds, and this is only nineteen ninety nine. Uh, but I found this on TechFlow, which is a YouTube channel. I'm gonna link it down in the description and to the video where the guy reviews it. I found it quite interesting, and I thought, like, what the hell? Let's just reserve it and let's go get it. So I literally reserved it about two hours ago, and I literally just got back home from getting it. And so we're gonna go into unboxing right now. Alrighty, so we've got the box now. We've got some scissors, and let's open this sucker. And do always make it so hard to open it. Ooh, there it is. All right. So inside we've got a welcome in different languages, and none of them are in Polish, which sucks. All right, hang on. What do we have in here? Uh, download the app. All right. It says Apple Store, but actually has uh, does the app on the Google Store as well. Ooh, we've got the light bulb now. Hang on. Got a brace. And. Come on. Alright, so. Let's see how it looks like. So. It's. So the actual, the actual light bulb is. Uh, this is glass. Seems like glass. And seems like sort of metal or maybe some sort of. Like ceramics sort of thing. It's kind of really hard to tell, and it's got one of these at the end. And the problem is that my current light bulb has one of these, which is like a B, which is sort of like an English word thing. Yeah, so it's like it's got two progs at the, at the sides and like two contacts here. But this one is a screwy, screwy thing one, and it was like E27, I think it's called. And so to manage to get this to work, oh. Yeah, ooh, this to work. I need to get how to get this sort of thing, which is basically um, it changed the whole light thing. So I changed it from this end to the screw end, screw end. So let's let me just go and change it, and I'll be right back with my camera pointing at my light, which is up there, and. We shall see if it works. If it doesn't, that means that I spent 20 quid on nothing. So I see you guys in a second. Well, I'm back and I did change the actual fitting for the light bulb and it works, baby. Yes, it works. So I have the Android app for Avia downloaded already. And so it's here, you know, on my HTC M1, M8, HTC1, M8, that's the one, yeah. And it says, welcome, make sure Avia and the smartphone are close to each other. Switch Avia off and on again. And it says a session for lamps. So. So now we can see the, uh, the light bulb which is up here. There's this little thing here. here. And so I'm going to switch it on and off. On. No, off, on. Yes, I found it, baby. So one lamp found, and now, what will happen? I've got no idea. Alright, so it wants me to... Newer version of the software on Avia, Bob is required for Android compat compatibility. Please update firmware using the latest Avia app on iPhone or iPad. All right, so I read about the firmware update on on their website or somewhere. So I'm gonna go update the firmware, and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got all set, and it does work. Look at that! Which I don't really like the wavy things, but it works amazingly. Uh, the firmware did work, and it was a pain because it wouldn't connect for about 15 minutes or so. And I was scared I wouldn't work, 
I also tried in my lamp downstairs in my living room, it didn't work there, which I was like, shit, did I break it or did I wire the thing wrong and bend out the actual bulb? But actually, I don't think it was like the sort of thing that it wasn't connected yet, and so it was like just turned off, then it finally connected, and it works now, so. There it is, so now I've got it on white. And I can change it to, let's say, yellow. Ooh. I can't really see too well. It's really, really bright. Um, maybe putting on a wall will help. Alright, so I've got a wall, so I've got yellow now. It's like press white because it's really bright. But if I change to purple, you can tell it's purple now. My whole room is purple. It looks like a bit of pink here, but it's actually really nice purple so I can change the intensity of the color so it's like really bad. Like it's li literally nearly pink now it's really dark goes into bluish color I can change the brightness of it as well so it's pretty much nearly off it's just a little bit on uh, and then I can so uh, yeah alright there is so uh, there's different colors here green you can tell around my phone it's green everywhere, where it kind of looks white. Choose the intensity of the color, turn it down a bit. Just come on. Yeah, so that goes to yellow. But it's, it's actually really, really nice. I like the green the most for some reason, because it's not my favorite color. And then we've got some presets here. So we've got like Magic Hour, which is sort of like a reddish red orange sort of thing it's a bit, it's a bit relaxing then we have northern glow which is greeny greeny blue sort of color so you can tell it's mostly sort of bluish color there's a little bit of green in there and uh, then we've got try focus camera focus come on then we've got cherry blossom which is like pinky mountain breeze which is like really Light blue, they've got cozy flame, which is red. Yeah, there's red. Then there's a fair um, Caribbean sea, which is, yeah, which is just blue. So, um, there's a sort of wake up light, which is like an alarm clock, but uh, it has that thing where basically it will play, play a music, some kind of music, like Good Morning Birds focus. Good morning birds, you can set up wake up time and it's gonna wake up, like it's gonna turn white and it's gonna uh, make the birds sing or whatever, I don't know, I haven't tried it out yet. But I mean you've got a lot of presets, you've got a lot of, well got a couple of solid colours. It's not RGB which sucks a bit, but still, for 20 quid I cannot complain. So, let's go back on my face. Ooh, right, and let's just change it to Candyland, which I've got no idea what it is. And it's sort of whitish color. Um, and it's basically got flipping lots of jelly beans on the screen. But anyway, so it was 19.99. I really cannot complain about it. It's nice and cheap, it's a lot cheaper than Philips Hue, and it works really well. It was a bit of pain to set up because it was. Designed for iPhone, well, and um, iPhones, no, iOS, and they did make a patch or firmware update for Android, which m which is really good because I don't, I, I never owned, and probably never will own an Apple product. I just like, I really like it. It's too expensive. It's like the thing I can make a whole video about it. But oh, it actually changes color. Oh my lord! Amazing. So um, anyway, so. I do love it. I would, um, I, I would say if you've got that twenty quid or whether it's like in euros or dollars, whether it's your local price, get it because it is really fun. I just hope we don't have to change the actual assembly of how you put the uh, light bulb in because that is just a pain in the ass. But it is really nice, and I will leave it up there. I'm gonna put just the lampshade thing. Around this, it looks bad because it just looks really, really bare at the moment. It's just basically both cable and a light bulb. 
But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, you know what to do. Drop a like, maybe a comment if you've got any comments about the light bulb or about me, about the channel. And subscribe if you want to see more content. I do unboxings, I do gameplays, I do reviews sometimes, but I do some vlogs if something amazing is going to be happening. I should probably should have vlogged me getting the light bulb because I did go first to PC World to pick up the light, then went to home base to find the adapter, then went to B and Q, and then I found out they there's no, but there is probably such thing as an adapter for light bulb uh, fix fixings thing. Uh, but basically, it's so much easier to actually just you know change the whole thing. And it only took me about five minutes, but no, I had to turn off the main uh, power, power and electricity stuff. But yeah, it was a bit, a bit of messing around with it, but I love it, baby! So I see you guys next time in my next video, which is probably going to be PewDiePie again. Um, I'm working on getting other games, but I don't really have time to play a lot. I've got too much crap when it comes to college, and I've, I'm a volunteer, and you know, all that crap. So anyway. You guys know to like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh.